The Dell EMC acquisition could have a dramatic impact on the federal IT marketplace as well. For inside, let's turn to our first guest on Government Matters. Cattell Thielman is a research director at Gartner, specializing in the U.S. federal government market. Cattell, let's start with some history. How were Dell and EMC positioned in the federal IT marketplace before this acquisition? Sure, well, they've both been very uh, interesting and large player in the environment and really in different pockets of the uh, federal IT ecosystem, if you wish. Uh, clearly, Dell has been around for a while. They are very well known broadly for all of their uh, desktop solutions, for instance, but through their Perot system acquisition in 2009, they've also been very active uh, from an IT services standpoint. Uh, meanwhile, EMC has been very active with regard to uh, data storage uh, solutions, for instance, in, in all of the agency data centers out there. That brings me to the acquisition itself. There are a lot of moving parts here, like VMware and VirtuStream, or SecureWorks and RSA Security. Tell us more. Yes, it's, uh, it's going to be a very interesting uh, combined uh, organization for sure. When we look at the overlap of some of the, the technologies, uh, you know, clearly EMC has a fairly wide federated environment. As you mentioned, anything from uh, VMware, which is a, a mega player when it comes to virtualization, to Pivotal around software. Uh, some of the overlaps around the security solutions could be interesting. Uh, it will be uh, quite uh, interesting to figure out what the joint Dell, new Dell organization will do with uh, SecureWorks, for instance, in RSA. And security, as we know, is uh, going to be a continued uh, area of spend and growth for federal vendors. I could tell the acquisition won't close until this time next year. A lot could happen in 12 months. That said, I'd like to know what Dell will look like if this goes through. What kind of player will they be in the federal IT marketplace? Who are they going after? Well, that's, uh, that's really one of the biggest questions out there, right? One of the reasons these deals are occurring is uh, technology by and large is changing. There is, uh, in the 1990s, both Dell and EMC were some of the largest players out there and their stock was rising. Fast forward to 2015, they're being very much challenged by new entrants. We've seen uh, Amazon Web Services, for instance, becoming an $8 billion uh, cloud provider growing 81%. So what will this uh, combined organization look like uh, a year from now is a, a very big question. They will need to define what their uh, differentiation looks like in this marketplace. In federal IT, a lot of changes are occurring at the same time as this is happening. For instance, HP is splitting into two parts. Right. Uh, at the same time, Dell and EMC are coming together. We see CSGov uh, uh, merging with SRA. What are they gonna look like a year from now? A lot can happen in a year. And frankly, because of the sales cycle in federal IT, uh, they need to start thinking about uh, a lot of the next steps today. Uh, otherwise, if they wait until close time, a lot of changes could have occurred right under their feet. You're exactly right. And one of the most intriguing aspects of this acquisition to me is how these companies will align. Before this week, they competed against each other. Dell has a very top-down management structure. EMC's is more nuanced. What challenges do you see ahead? Well, there's going to be a lot of alignment needed. Uh, clearly, there's even some, some uh, strategic partnerships that they will need to think about, for instance. Uh, Dell has had a very strong strategic partnership with Microsoft. Well, all of a sudden, uh, a lot of the new offerings under the EMC umbrella become competitors to some of the Microsoft offerings. Uh, but by and large in federal IT, we've seen this concept around competimates, you know, sort of have a life of their own. One, one deal, you're a competitor, next deal, you're a teammate. That's exactly uh, right. Be beyond that, the, the cultural aspects, the, the channel go-to market strategies, uh, the contract vehicle alignment, who within the combined environment will take the lead for federal IT, federal IT all of these are still TBD. Before you go, put this acquisition into context for us, Cattell. At $67 billion, it's the largest tech deal of all time. Is it the most significant? 
Probably not in the long term. Yes, there is a lot of money at stake, uh, but still, you know, it's a sort of a defensive play in, in many ways. Uh, Dell has seen some erosion on the desktop side at, uh, of their business, for instance. At the same time as this deal was being announced, there were rumors that they were sort of, uh, you know, shopping their, their uh, hardware portion of their business out there. Uh, EMC clearly has uh, some crown jewels there, uh, particularly with uh, groups like VMware. Uh, where will that technology go is TBD, and frankly, one uh, big aspect to think about is given this price tag, how much money will be left over to really invest in R&D moving forward? Mm -hmm. uh, those are all questions that, that remain out there. We'll keep our eyes on it. I hopefully it'll be a win-win for everybody. Good to have you on board. Could tell Thank you. Research Director at Gardner, and thank you. Thanks.